right, so Marvin, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do? How did you find me? And what does financial freedom mean to you? Uh, first things, man, I, uh, I found you just by, I've been watching for, for a while now, and I've been doing velocity banking for about maybe a year now. Nice. Uh, work for the fire department. I've been on for 20 years now, and I'm getting close to retirement in about seven years. So my thing is, I just want to be sure that uh, when I, once I do retire, that I'm in position to where I don't have to work how I'm working now, if that makes any sense. Um, so I've been there 20 years as a paramedic, so maybe the next seven years I'm able to retire, so I'm just trying to get that done. I want to be retired by the age of 50, so that's my goal, so that's kind of what I'm shooting for, but I want to be financially free when I do, so. You said by the age of 50? Yeah, I'll be retired. So, and then you said seven years, right? Seven, correct. Seven years. Okay. All right, so you're currently 43. 43, yeah. Got it. What state are you in? I'm in Louisiana. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Cool. And so, uh, financial freedom by age 50 or sooner. Yeah. What does and, financial and, and, freedom yeah. mean to you? For me, it means uh, just just to be able to do, I can to a point now, being that I kind of learned this velocity banking thing, but I just want to be to the point to where my kids are okay. You know? My kids and I can teach them things that I'm learning and also, you know, where I don't have to worry about money, things that I want, you know, it's cool, but I also want to teach them the value of money also. Right. Just being able to do things while I'm not working. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, what are some questions that you have for me this evening that we that I can my, help you with? My question is, you know, uh, mainly was, uh, like, let's say once I retire in seven years, I, I get uh, my monthly money every, every month, but I also get a lump sum check of about 200K. My thing is I need to learn about this infinite banking tool. Where can I deposit that entire thing into my, uh, into the infinite banking policy? Or do I just keep that in my savings account and build and maybe continue to build on business adventures that I'm trying to do? I mean, I'm trying to just see what would be the best option for that money. I just don't want it to sit and be stagnant. Yeah. You said you're going to get, you're going to get 200 K when? Uh, in that seven years, if, when I retire, like I get my retirement plus I get what they call uh, it's called pie money, where you you work so many like the three years that I have, it's an average of that, and they cut you a check for that amount, and it's going to be about uh, my paper. You'll, be get, about you, you, you'll get two hundred k in one shot. Yeah, you get two hundred k at, at plus 50. my retirement. Yeah. yeah, plus some other stuff. Got yeah, it. yeah. Plus my re monthly retirement on top of that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and 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 do you have any life insurance right now? I do. I have. Uh, I have some on myself and on my kids also. It's it's a whole life insurance policy at twenty k that I pay every month, once a month. But twenty uh, k putting in or twenty k death benefit. Death benefit. 20k death benefit. Got it. So it's a very small policy on yourself. Yeah, it's, it's a small policy on myself. Yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. So figuring out the infinite banking concept, can you break down for me first your four major numbers? What are you currently working with? Uh, income is about sixty-seven fifty a month. Um, uh, my debt. Total a month probably is about uh, 40, it's uh, 37 as of right now. 3,700? Yes, correct, 3,700. Debt payments, right? Debt payments, now my car insurance, my car, nope. It comes out my check every month, so I really don't count that because it already comes out automatically. So that's just net pay what I'm taking home. 
Got it. Uh, what would you say your cash flow is per month? Uh, probably about fifteen, fifteen hundred. About twelve to fifteen hundred. Yeah, about twelve. Twelve to fifteen hundred. Yeah. Okay. So on the low end, twelve. On the high end, fifteen hundred. Yeah. So I could be spending as high as five thousand five fifty a month, or about fifty two fifty. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what debts do you currently have right now? Right now, I have my line of credit, uh, which is at thirteen k. What, it's it's at ten right now. Oh, 10, but the limit's thirteen. That's a P. I have another line. No, it's a uh, personal line of credit. Yeah, okay. yeah, P. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. So, it's a thirteen. Have, thirteen. Uh, hold on. Thirteen K limit, right? Thirteen. Yeah. Ten K owed. What's the interest rate? Uh the interest rate is seven percent. Nice. What bank? Uh, Barksdale Federal Credit Union. Okay, Bark. Barksdale. Got Bark. It. Yeah, Air Force Credit Union. Local credit union? Uh, I believe so for the most part. Yeah, local. I bank with a few different banks. So. Love it. Follow the routine. Like it. Uh, so you so you recently made a chunk, I'm assuming. You owe 10. You're doing velocity banking. You're knocking it down, correct? Yeah, yeah, I'm knocking it down, yeah. All right. Uh, one by one, uh, tell me the different debts that you have left. Uh, I have a Capital One card, which is at forty five hundred. I have another Capital One card at two. Two K. Two K. Yeah, two K. Yeah. Old, right? Another line of credit that's at uh, forty five hundred. Um, I have a PayPal account, which is. I kind of use that for stuff online that I order. It's at 1200 And I have an American Express card that's at that, uh, about 300 right now. Kind of like I use it for a few cards. And uh, I have a real bad loan that I had got a while back, but I it, it's, at, it's at 10K. So that's my main thing I want to pay off. It's a hard too. That's kind of. You owe 10K. Yo, 10K, yeah. what's the interest rate? Oh, my goodness. Uh, like 21%. And what's, the, <laughs> yeah. and what's the monthly payment? The monthly payment on that is uh, 335 but I'm trying to have that paid off by December. By when? Uh, by December because my line of credit is back down, so I'm trying to just – I'm trying. I'm trying to have that paid off by December of this year. That's my goal. Right. If I can get that paid off and I can just pay the minimum on the other cards and just get that because the interest rate's got so it. high. Got it, got it, got it. What other debts do you have? Uh, I mean, like I say, my card notes, they come out of my checks. So that's, do you really want that also or does it matter? You have car loans, you said? Yeah, I have uh, auto loans, but they come out of my check already. It's already <laughs> calculated in there, so... Yeah, I mean, it's, so it already comes out, so I don't com have to. Company pays for it? See that money, really, but. Oh, I do have one more personal loan with my credit union for 7000 I forgot about that one. So, yeah. At what interest it. rate? <sighs> At what interest rate is that loan and the monthly payment? What is it? And that's That's about it right there. Can you hear me? Hey, Marvin, can you hear me? Hey, can you hear me? Hello? Yep. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, I'm kind of faded for a second. I got you. Okay, you hear me okay? Yeah, I got you. I got you. All right, all right, all right. What is the loan interest rate on the 7000 the seven thousand net interest rate is uh, six percent. And what's the payment? It's got that one bad. It's a uh, professional firefighters credit. 
Uh, what's the monthly payment? It is two twenty six. Two twenty six. Got it. Yeah. On the personal line of credit, so you had a second one. You owe four thousand five hundred on it. What's the yes. credit? What's the credit limit? And what's the interest rate? The on limit that? on it is five thousand. And what's the interest rate? Uh, the interest rate on that one is eight percent. Okay. So why are you using that and the PLOC at the same time? Is there a reason for that? Or you, well, you did like a double first. chunk? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, got, I, it, got it. Got it. Yeah. I had, I had that one first and I just didn't want to lose that, that, uh, that line of credit. I had it the longest. So, okay. So, um, I would, let's see. I definitely want to like wean myself off of that because the other line of credit's a lower interest rate, higher credit limit. Interest rate. You know, I, yeah. I get I get better. Uh, I go faster with that debt tool than the other one. Yeah. Okay. So you're just are you just paying the monthly payment on that P lock? Uh, I am right now. Yeah, because I'm trying to I'm trying to keep everything that's revolving. I'm trying to keep that open, but that bad debt like that. Uh, that loan, those loans, I'm trying to get those paid off first, being that their interest rates are higher, but yeah. Got it. So we got nice comment here from Hart, says I would tackle the one with the highest interest rate to pay off. Um, That's the goal, yeah. Yep, I, I do like the idea of killing that 10K loan at the 21%. Get 335 from that. Uh -huh. The uh, the 226 for the 7K. I might want to ignore that uh, okay. just because it's a it's a lower rate than the seven, and okay. you know you're not too far away. I'm assuming on the amortization schedule there. I'm not. Okay. I I think I would. Um, so after paying off the 10K. I want to come back to those credit cards in that P lock, be done with okay. all of, be done with all of those. Okay. And and <clears throat> and then I'll snowball the seven thousand because it wouldn't make sense to shift the six to the seven at that point. So I'll snowball okay. that out. And you said you have okay. no other debts, no mortgage, no student loans. No, no, no student loans. I mean, I have a mortgage. Uh, Got it. Child what? support payment, but other than that, man, nothing. nothing what's um, What's the mortgage? My mortgage is seventeen hundred. And what is owed on that? Uh, my balance is two two seventy eight. Two seventy eight left. And the interest rate? Uh, four percent. Four percent. Uh, how long have you been paying on that mortgage? Uh, four year now. One year. One year. Have you ever refinanced? Uh, no. Uh, so this is, you just got this home? Yeah, I've been in this home almost a year now. I say a year. Yeah, almost a year. Got it. Got it. How much did you put down? Uh, I didn't have to put anything down. Got it. Was that through the, the, the work? You get act like like something yeah, like a VA was, uh, loan or something. What they call the uh, 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 rural development loan. You don't have to put any like a government. Got it's it. a rural development where you don't have to put anything down there because they're developing yep. the area. So yep. I've heard of those different programs. Real good, real good. Uh, not bad at all. Okay. So in regards to infinite banking, I believe that is something that we could implement in 2021 maybe around summer towards the end of the year being the latest uh do uh -huh. you do you currently have any capital or savings built up right now uh i do i do what do you have in uh, savings i got 10k in savings okay just put up just for emergencies or whatever um any other like i said assets retirement accounts uh, like that? i have I have land, um, like home lots that um, carry some value. Um, okay. 
but no no homes are built on them right now but i do have uh two lots right now that carry you know they carry value got it okay so this uh got that 10k that's good 1500 so by 2021 mm -hmm. i should have say so say after summer of 2021 okay I'll have the cash flow of the fifteen hundred that I already roughly have right now, plus yeah. the three thirty five, plus two twenty six, and whatever those other monthly payments are. I, I'm probably looking at maybe twenty three, twenty four hundred in cash flow. Yeah. Potentially. Yeah. Once you drop those off, yeah. Do you know what the max credit limit is offered at that at that bank? uh barksdale with the 13k oh my uh well what they told me um once i get some of this paid off i'm gonna try to get it increased to 30k that's what they told me to come back with so that's um, nice that's nice we i was like gonna that. try to like once i get this um uh, that bad loan paid off yeah i'm gonna try to get that increased to 30k uh by january uh, if they do that then that'll kind of open up a lot for miss Horace. And these other little small things pay it off. I guess. Oh. Okay, we got some nice comments coming in uh, from people just giving their feedback. So these car loans, um, yeah. I just want to get some clarity on this. Okay. When you say it's coming out of your paycheck, um, it is is the company that you work for paying some of that car yeah, yeah my um the, the uh credit union that i have the uh seven thousand loan it's uh that's who my car is through so they 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 get paid before i get they take the money out on my check before i even get paid so that's already paid that way it's never late i just have it set up that way to where it's never late or nothing like that the seven the seven k is the car loan no, that's a, that's a separate that's a separate personal loan that I had for something else back in the day. Yeah. Okay. It actually so, was ten is down to seven now. Yeah. All right. So how much do you currently own the car? Uh, on my one car I owe fourteen k left, and my my uh, SUV I owe twenty eight left. And what are the monthly the the what are the monthly payments now. on these things? Uh, on my Infinity, it is two seventy four a month, and on my SUV, it is uh, three twenty four, three twenty six. I'm sorry, three twenty six a month. Got it. At what interest rate on the on the um, car? I think one is. Five percent. The uh, the car is five percent, and the SUV is four point seven five percent. I don't know why I did that. You could say five percent too. You say five on both of them, really. Okay. Interesting. So we got the. Well, like I say, they already come out of my check, so that doesn't count toward. Um, comes out your check but it's still pay. it's still cash flow you don't yeah, yeah. see okay i don't want to get right. com i don't want to get that it's, that was confusing me earlier i f that f okay. that felt like to me like it was it was money that's like they're contributing to the payment of your car but that's not the case here no it's not no, you just you just totally personally sick. right you personally set this up you're not being reimbursed to operate these vehicles right in any way there's no tax benefit. There's no, there's nothing like that. So this um, is, this is more debt. Yeah, this is, this, as of right now, yes, these are more debt. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So infinite banking might want to push that a little bit further out. Uh, me, okay. per, me personally, I, I like to kind of wipe out uh, as much debt as I can, gain <clears throat> the most cash flow as possible. Potentially, maybe start a business um, if that I, I is I if have, that's in the picture. 
Yeah, yeah. I have a lawn serving business also. So, so I mean, yeah, a lawn serving. There we go. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, it's you know it's slow right now due to the the weather change, but okay, you know, it's kind of a one man show. So I mean, I've been doing that for about eight years now. So. So you are a paramedic, and you also uh, do lawn services, like private, like like for certain, like like certain, residential. Like, yeah, this resi re okay. This residential for uh, right now. I and have you like personally do it, or you have someone you hire? I personally do it. You personally do it, just you. Yeah, me and my bo me and my son. Yeah, my sons. Yeah. Got it. Is your where do where do your passions uh, purpose lie to create that financial freedom is it in the lawn business do you want to explode that or is no. there something else you want to do no it's definitely not in the lawn business it's, that's just a means to the end to just teach my boys but uh so that's like nah, a side passion, hustle honestly, right like the extra a little extra money but nothing crazy yeah 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 just just yeah just just something to help with tax you know just kind of a tax thing i see but um my passion primarily lies like um, in, in in these numbers. I kind of enjoy this fin this uh, financial thing to, to to have learned what I've learned from this, and you know it's kind of one of those things to where you know. But also, I would like to teach CPR classes also to kind of and get people more in tuned in CPR and health and stuff like that too. So that's kind of where my passion lies. I've been doing that for a while. Financial and health. Yeah. Put it together. Okay. <laughs> um, so talk to me specifically in, in the mm -hmm. financial space that you, all this stuff that you've been learning, um, what would be in a type of, you know, finance that you would like to be in? Are you talking like you want to coach people, work with people? Or more so, like sell financial products such as like more life so just bring or... awareness to the uh, just more of awareness. I guess you you can say to uh, finances, man. To because I just think about how I've done things. So an overall for so many years before picture. I saw your video, you know. I, right. So like an overall yeah. ho holistic financial approach. Yeah. Working with yeah, people just... and making money from that. Like like coaching people on that, like something like what I yeah, do, like, like yeah. charging charging people for your for your time, to to work with them one on one. Got it. Yeah. Okay. About how much free time do you have per week? Um. Well, with kids and sports, man, probably. You talking about hours, or are you talking about days, or? Yeah, yeah, hours. About. Free time, about how many hours per week safely do you have? Free time, like? Probably about, man, probably about 25, about 25, 30 hours a week, just free time. I mean, the way I work, it's uh, it's 24 hours on, 24 hours off. And then I do that for 10 days, and then I'm off six days straight. So I have time to do yeah, stuff. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. I'd say so. You, know. you got quite a bit of time on your hands to, to build something, build something yeah. serious. Well, I, I work another job, too, but at the same time, it's like, you know, with kids. The lawn? Kind of, the lawn service? No, I, I work at the hospital also. The lawn service is kind of like my side hustle. Right. And so the hospitals, two jobs. I do that every, yeah. yeah. All right, so let me be clear. With kids involved, two jobs, mm -hmm. the lawn service, all that, how much free yeah. time do you have? Hours per week? Hours, probably about 25 to spare. <laughs> Are you sure? 25 to 30. Because yeah, you, 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 just, you just mentioned, like, oh, with, with kids and da da da, right? So does that I, eat, I got does a, that I got eat a away? She, she helps out a lot. So, yeah, we figure <laughs> Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, she's she 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 sure. my, she my partner. Yeah, okay. Know. All right, so. Uh, so I just took the 25, I divided it by two, right? Yeah. And I'm a round down, call it 10 hours a week times oh, four, yeah. times four times 12 months. So I got 480 hours per year that I could potentially dedicate to uh, figuring out 
exactly what do I want to do in this financial space to bring in right. to bring in passive income, right? And I got seven right. years to figure it out. So 480 hours, this is conservative, 480 right. hours times seven years, that's 3,360 hours to become a master in a, and, and gain a particular skill in a particular environment. I pick one thing right. that I can explode on the side while doing my main, right. my main work. And simultaneously while I'm building that, I'm not really concerned about you know, making a ton of money up front in the beginning. Although if it happens, wonderful. Cool. Yeah. yeah, we're not yeah. we're not gonna be upset about that. I'm not concerned with that, yeah. But um really it's it's about honing in on that on that that kingdom foundation, creating the legacy, making sure the kids are set. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And and having the proper location to allocate that two hundred K when I receive Correct. that, uh, I would definitely, Correct. I would definitely have a portion of the uh, uh, go to the infinite banking, uh, you know, strategy, policy on yourself, yeah. policy on wife, policy on the kids. I don't that I, I don't see why that doesn't hurt me in any way. And and in those seven years, so if you're taking notes, mm -hmm. in those seven years, we could establish policies uh, little by little. And I think the, the way I would implement it, I know this is me personally, this is how I would do it if I was in your shoes, is I would like, me personally, I would want to get rid of all my consumer debt, the credit cards, mm -hmm. the loans, the two cars, and then once I get to the mortgage, I would actually leave that alone. The amount okay. of time, the amount of time it's going to take me to pay off 278000 uh, I could be investing more time into that skill so instead of you'll, you'll you'll come to a dilemma where does it make sense to pay off debt or invest right and you get to make you get to make that decision i work with all dif different types of clients on different different levels right mm -hmm. so this is just me if i was in your shoes but you get to decide and i'm gonna give you the different options right so option right. one option one is I continue velocity banking. Get that increase for sure. That's a no-brainer because then I can increase okay. my I can increase my chunk amount to 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 uh, wipe out a little bit more debt at a faster rate. I personally would get rid of all the consumer debt, the car loans, the personal loans, and the only thing I have left is the mortgage, right? And then I have all this gotcha. cash flow. When that occurs is when I would implement infinite banking. I got a $30,000 line of credit, I got 10K in savings. That number is going to go up, obviously. I have way more cash flow, potentially a higher income because naturally we, we get raises and promotions year to year. To year. So yeah. my income should rise. Um, I would say to pay off the two cars, the loans, the consumer debt, that should bring me into 2022, realistically, okay. probably like yeah. summer towards the end. Um, the only reason why you would go faster is, like I said, you make more money, you cash flow more, you know, you, yeah. you up, upgrade the debt tool, keep going faster. Okay. Now, here's where the options can go a different way. So in that same option one, as soon as I wipe out all the debt and I only have the mortgage, I, okay. could, I could upgrade my uh, debt tool, my P-Lock, by simply uh, making maybe one to two chunks into my mortgage. So continue to do velocity banking to pay off debt. That's, that's option one, right, okay. is, is pay off all debt. Yeah. So option yeah. one, just yeah. write option one, pay off all debt, right? Yeah. Um, when I get to the mortgage, I maybe make one to two chunks. And then I'm going to want to upgrade to a HELOC, obviously, because I created so much equity in those one to two chunks, plus the two years of, of making $1,700 uh, payments for roughly 20, right. 24 months. And then I continue to do velocity banking all the way through. Mm -hmm. I get to a point where I can upgrade that HELOC to a 
uh, that second position HELOC to a first position HELOC. Keep wiping out debt. Okay. Um, at that point is when I could implement infinite banking. Right, so pay off all debt. So option one is pay off all debt, implement infinite banking while simultaneously 480 hours uh, a year putting into mm -hmm. building that skill, becoming a master in an area, build, building, building a passive stream of income while paying off all your debt. I would say that's the simplest strategy right there. Okay. Option two is the same thing as option one, velocity banking all the way through for the most part. I may have to go on and off. I may, I may have to do debt snowball if velocity banking doesn't make sense for, a, for particular debts and we'll evaluate okay. that. Um, but that's why we upgrade our debt tools, maybe implement a 0% credit card on purchases and we'll finagle and finesse to you know, go a little bit faster. Yes. So option two, same thing as option one, pay off all debt until I get to the mortgage. When I get to the mortgage, okay. I, could, I can reasonably, logically say, okay, the amount of time that it's gonna take me to pay off this mortgage, yeah. I could instead take that cash flow and put it towards the skill, the talent, the mm. gift that I have to create passive income to 10x my income. And so let's just say it, it takes me doing velocity banking or debt snowball or just any you know, a concept to pay off debt. Let's just say when I get to the mortgage, it's gonna take me roughly three years or less to wipe that out. Let's just say. Well, in that same amount of time, if I 10x my income, within those same three years, if not sooner, at any point I could write a check, pay off mm -hmm. the mortgage in full, if I wanna do that. Yeah, it, it's, it'll be that option, yeah. Or, or because I 10X'd my income, go from $6,750 a month to 67,500 a month, just add a zero, mm -hmm. I may go and buy that dream home and turn this existing property into a rental. Nah, my kids will be getting out the house. If anything, I'll be okay. downsizing. <laughs> if anything, downsizing. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, still I'll be but 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 still that, that mortgage could be I can turn that from a liability into an asset. To to an asset, yeah, correct. Gotcha. So instead okay. of paying it instead of wasting time paying that off, I could yeah. just turn it into an asset, save gotcha. three years, focus on ten X. So that's option gotcha. two. Option, okay. option two also involves implementing infinite banking earlier by three years or by two years, year and a half. So instead of paying off the mortgage, right as I wipe out all this consumer debt, personal loans, car loans, right? I could, uh, I, I know me personally, I would want to inf implement infinite banking on myself, on wife, get the kids going, uh, one at a time, of course, spread it all out in a way, uh -huh. and, you, and we could create enough mech space. So this is, you know, we gotta learn more terminology, right? You wanna get more educated on the infant banking concept, but we could create space in all of the policies, kids, you, wife, to uh, have a place to store some of that 200K as soon as I get it. I have, gotcha. a, pla I have, a, I have gotcha. a place to put it amongst two, to three or four more policies, right? I got you. Well, the way the way that it's set up, uh, I could either do one or two things when it comes to that to that money. I can either take a huge tax hit and just get it a lump sum all at once, or I can do what they call an annuity, where you get, like, say that two hundred k, you get one percent a month till it runs out, but it's gaining six percent at the same time. And you get two that let's say on two hundred thousand for yeah, example. Yeah. So in a way, in but a I'm way, but I'm putting my money in someone else's hands, though. You know, I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in a way, you're locking the money up to try and preserve yeah, it for a I, long period of time. Yeah. I, yeah. I get that, but based on how you sound, you sound like a healthy guy. 
you know, you look healthy. I don't know if I would be comfortable locking up 200 grand and receiving a small portion of that. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Me, I'd rather, I, me, I rather take the hit today because I know taxes are going to be higher later on. So I'd rather, yeah. take, I'd rather take the hit today, put the money in my control, and then deploy that money according to my kingdom gifts that, that, that God gave me. Um, and then other things, buy gold, crypto, silver, crypto, silver. real yeah. estate. Uh, make That's sure you have me muted. Did okay. I have you mute? I'm sorry. I was, I was hearing a little echo there. But um, How about now? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. Yes. Yeah, right. So um, those, are, those are the two options that we have. And we have time to decide, you know, which way we want to yeah, go. Yeah. So just to, you know, bring, bring that transparency there. But um, okay. in terms of the very next action steps to take, uh, paying off that 10K at the 21% makes the most sense to me, just looking at the numbers from a surface level. The, yes. cr the credit cards, 4,500, two grand, that, that's 6,500. I'm pretty sure the interest rate is around 21%, but the monthly payment's extremely small. Yeah. Am I correct? Yeah. Correct. So, yeah. so the 335 is actually way more impactful. And after, after wiping that out, so after you bring your line of credit to zero, definitely apply for the increase. So before you pay off the 10K, bring your line of credit to zero. And like you said, go back to the bank, see if you can increase that line. I'm not sure if you can jump to 30 K. I'm not sure if they'll well, that's, let, you, that's, let you. Yeah. That's, that's what she was told me. The credit score where it needs to be without the, um, the debt. She said, yeah, it would jump. I would have got it the first time, but I had that 10 K loan and it kind of, kind of, it kind of hurt me getting approved for the 30. So she said, I got approved for the 13. I'm like, man, you know, Got it, got it, got I, it. I know what I have to do. I need to pay that 10 off first. So. Uh, yeah, and I'm assuming at 30 grand, the rate might drop a little bit. Who knows? That, I, I, I usually, yeah. see, that, I usually uh -huh. see that happen. So if that happens, that'd be great because then when I go to pay off the 10K, I could also throw in some of these yeah. other, other smaller debts with it. Like I know okay. I would want to just get rid of that 5K line of credit with that 10K. Yeah get that 8% okay. out of there uh, because I know with P locks, usually they charge you 2% of the balance. So the monthly payments are usually a little bit higher than like the credit cards are. Okay. So I, I might want to go after those smaller debts with that 10 K loan. As I bring that back down to zero, then I want to look at these cars, especially that SUV. Mm -hmm. I want to take a look at these cars and see based on that amortized 5% versus my, 7% simple interest does it doesn't make sense to shift one to the other if it doesn't then we'll just do debt snowball if in fact debt snowball goes faster than velocity banking or vice versa velocity banking faster than debt snowball any questions on that i think we're pretty i think that's no nah, man in terms I, of like, I appreciate it i appreciate it i really do appreciate it and like i said before i've been keeping up with you for about a year now man i appreciate yeah. what you're doing Mm -hmm. And uh, changed my life, so hey, that's awesome. I appreciate that. My yeah. kids call you my teacher, you know. So hey, I appreciate it, bro. Hey, when it when it comes to the the, the finance part, um, you know, I'm I'm getting involved in a lot of different things. So, yeah. you know, if if you're in, I'm not sure if you're in the manifesto or anything like that, but you know, you can communicate with me, and yeah. maybe we can come up with some ideas. Like, you know, do you want to be an insurance agent? Do you want to get your Series Six? Do you want to be a real estate investor? Or, or do you want to just become a financial overall, you know, financial and health coach? You talk about health and you talk about wealth, you know, and yeah. you can create your own little spin <laughs> yeah. on it. And that would be pretty like cool. Okay. Well, I appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Awesome. I am going to bring on the next person here. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your evening. All right. Same to you, man. All right. Bye.